Hey guys, how are you? Uh, I thought I'd come in and like share my tips and thoughts on uh, plastic surgery. That, my, that video has so many views. <laughs> I have to do a comeback from my shock. But really, thank you for all those who took time to <laughs> to watch. It was interesting. And yeah, I've tried to answer your questions as much as I could. For oh, this video, let's talk about the costs and some of the pre pre care that you can do for for you know a smooth trans a smooth recovery. Basically, I feel like I'm kind of qualified to share some tips because I'm currently I'm on the seventh week. Yeah, seventh week, and I feel amazing. I've been running outside. And uh, I'm planning to. I just registered for a CrossFit class, so I'm starting tomorrow, and I'm excited. Like I feel amazing. I, I stopped taking my meds pretty early, earlier on. I don't know if it's there are two ways now. I'm not sure if it's because of the pre care and the post care I did, or it's because my my procedure was not so invasive. I only had 2,000 uh, cc's of fat removal. I've had other, other other men or women had like maybe 5,000, I don't know, so probably because mine wasn't so much, was a bit, it, still my arms are, are, are a bit numb, but I was told it's because, you know, the hand has a lot of nerves and it's going to take time to heal because you can imagine while I'm doing this, 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 is, this is the nerves coordinating, so it's very novel, <laughs> English is hard. Anyway, let's talk. I'm, I'm making one tea that I used to take. I'm, I'm sharing it with you guys. I've already recorded actually. Let me just use this because I don't want to. I don't want to for the fun to be running, to be on and noisy. Mm -mm. Costs. If you ask me why I chose like Sapiego's clinic clinicals, I left the description of my doctor in the previous video. You can go to it. It's because they have like a range of prices, yeah. They just don't say like okay, we're gonna charge you for this. There's like a range because it depends on the amount of of fat you have. I thought that it, I thought that was very nice as opposed to most other clinics that I called uh, and they were like, oh starting prices. This I'm like really because I don't have like a lot of fat like that so especially for people who are like i don't want to say skinny because i'm actually skinny <laughs> for people who really are not like having such major issues that is like a plus for me because i'm like i'm always searching for deals i like to save money to do other things with this basically so if i can get a good deal then i'm gonna go for that uh, I cannot now I cannot like cannot tell you guys how much I paid for because it's very subjective I know f probably there are people who paid less than me and there are definitely people who are going to pay more than me so I don't want to disclose that but just go to their website if you're like in the region and you're thinking oh I need to do something uh, for for planning for the procedure definitely is I think the best time to do it is during autumn or winter so that you'll be ready for summer. I did it in spring. I have to work extra hard over here so that I can wear my bareback dresses and take nice pictures in Old Town. <laughs> I go to Paris, I don't know, uh, or Milan. Anyways, pre-care, pre as I mentioned another, please make sure you are taking your iron supplements because iron will save your life. If you will not have enough hemoglobin they might reduce the number of your procedures you know um, if they were going to do maybe arms and like 360 then they'll be like no because you'll bleed to death same thing to blantinas which is alcohol the supplements smoking what else that's the only thing I know the, the only ones I know those, those will thin your blood and you will not clot if you cannot clothe, they will not do a good job because they'll be rushing. Your life is fast, aesthetics later. So if you could reduce, stop these things. I stopped probably like two months. I remember before surgery, I, I, the last amount of alcohol probably I did was 31st of January. Like no, first of, 31st of December, like New Year's Eve. I only drank once in between. I went for one party. 
and that's it so it's it's really important um, the, the, the third thing because that's yeah third thing would be to con to do something physical yeah if you're going to the gym continue going to the gym personally I chose to just be on walks I would go on really really long walks so that your body is uh, like you're optimizing your body and then when you when you do that the doctors say that you know you reduce your chances of having blood clots because if you live a very sedentary life then things are not moving the way they should so continue moving till the last day if possible the other tip is to eat healthy you have to start making conscious choices start eating soaps uh, portion portion control the McDonald's and the his burger and the pizzas they have to go uh, if you don't do that then you will carry these habits into your new body and then you will not really have any results then you'll be like oh my doctor is like a shitty person it's like no it's you huh? mm. yeah then post post surgery move 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 do not sit down for more than one hour or one hour 30 minutes unless you're sleeping if it's just during the day walk around in your house <laughs> i was walking here in my what's it called hallway i started walking here then i, I graduated into stairs then I, I then i went outside so do something go even if it's just like 10 steps 15 like that uh, of course take your meds no alcohol that is like a non-negotiable because your body is not really okay then massages i don't know why the doctors in lithuania say you need to take massage two weeks to i did not listen to that to that to that advice because i was really scared of fibrosis and she said like oh it's because of pain i'm like f pain <laughs> what a beautiful body the pain is being without a beautiful body so this other that i can manage you know <laughs> she was just laughing like yeah you're, you're not okay i'm like but seriously so i waited for a week yeah and even i was freaking out because i was i was starting to get swollen and then i went and I, when i went for my first post off i was telling her like seriously i'm very scared she's like no it's gonna go away and it's 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 gone but then you don't i don't know that is your choice because they say it's too painful and now I, I really understand it's it's not easy if you cannot bend imagine somebody like uh, like massaging you but it's important for that liquid to be to be what i don't want to say exterminated <laughs> english is difficult uh what's the how to say to be removed but i know there's a better english word guys let me tell you something if you're in a country that english is not their first language you are struggling because right now i'm thinking like lithuanian you know then it happens you also meet like some some russian guys and they start talking <laughs> to you in russian anyways i digress so uh, my my vocabulary is not so good right now i, tr I try to read but still mm -mm. uh yeah then such things like the tea I, i'm gonna sh uh, show you the video of how to make the tea drink lots of water uh yeah that's it to be honest that is it just walk walk and yeah i, I really wish you the best i know in lithuania a lot of uh People from Nordic countries, UK, Ireland come a lot here for for aesthetic medicine, also orthopedics because definitely there is like if you if you're paying. I saw one doctor like I saw on IG like his first kit is like sixty thousand euros or something, whichever currency. But like sixty thousand, that's like a lot of money, and even you convert to euros. But then when you travel to such places, it's like cheaper and. I'm all for beauty in a budget, you know. You don't have, to, you don't necessarily have to pay such crazy amounts if you do not have, because until you start feeling yourself excuse that oh I don't have this money, it's like okay you don't have money for that country. There are other places, yeah. And I think the safety, the the Lithuanian, of course it's safe because it's in the EU standard, and most importantly the post op care is amazing. Like I am going to see my doctor again. 
so it's it's really to them it's really important it's like they 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 don't have um, met here even not this this person just uh, even a guy now they are really meticulous in, in their work and yeah so if you're looking for a place <sighs> feel free uh yeah that's it i guess let me know if you have any other any other tip that you could share with people who are preparing for it and yeah if you like the vibe subscribe and like i'm always excited to chat with you guys in the comment box so feel free to drop something it helps my channel to be honest um there are places i'm trying to go you feel me <laughs> anyways um all right yeah thank you for watching and i will see you on the next one Inflammatory goodies. Let's say this one. <laughs> Spices. Spices and pineapple is like really, I think it's in the top of the non inflammatory foods. Yeah, so I'm going to cover, boil for like 10 minutes, then simmer for like 20 to get all the goodness out. You have to try this one. Okay, so I forgot to mention, yeah vanilla if you can just like add vanilla oh my god how do i hold the phone how do i record and open this thing wait so this is the vanilla like flavoring paste mm. Mm. it's okay i would prefer the liquid the extracts this is the first time i'm using this normally i use the other bottle one the extract or what's called syrup i don't know this one is it's not as fragrant. But <laughs> how are you going? So like when you're serving, I think it's let me show you how to do it. Okay. Here is my cup. So vanilla. Cause you bougie like that. Life is short. Some honey. I think this is something I'm gonna drink for the rest of my life to be honest. I ain't capping. So and then this is my liquid. Probably is it going to be enough for like four days. Yeah, oh my god, it smells so good for this. I don't see a need to receive at this point. Let me just mix a bit so that to pick everything that is under there. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Who needs tea bags? And I think it's also perfect for winter. Yeah. Test, test, test. Taste, test. I don't want to be shouty. Oh my god. Wow. 
in Lithuania. It's a la baigere. It's like very good. Very, very, very nice. Oh my goodness. Can't give up. It's the kata. Bye. <laughs>